Hello my darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Taurus, I'm going to do your September soulmate reading for you um, and uh, in honour of the harvest moon and mother nature this month, I'm going to be using three decks. I'm going to be using the, my beautiful new spirit song tarot, which I'm very excited to be using. It's just lovely. Followed by the animal tarot deck to clarify and then the animal kin oracle for you at the end. Uh, Taurus, we're going to be doing what's in your headspace, heart space, what's in headspace and heart space, what's in your soulmate's head and heart space. We're going to look at their intentions towards you and get some advice from spirit as well. If the reading resonates, I would be very grateful if you would comment, like, share and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, please don't try and make it fit. It simply wasn't for you at this time. Um, and these readings, whatever date they're posted, whenever you're meant to see these readings, you will find them. Um, and if they do resonate, they are meant for you. Um, they are timeless. Um, and energies will also be reversed, as you know, in these readings. So be aware of that as you're listening. So Taurus, let's see what's in your headspace. Thank you, Spirit. Now well, that flew out. So you have got the Five of Acorns, which is the Five of Wands. So whatever space you're in at the moment, um, Spirit is asking, you're finding you're in a negative space at the moment. You may be being caught up in uh, energies that are upsetting uh, and um, conflicts and arguments. And what Spirit is saying to you is if you can try, um, this is a, a growth period for you, as it says here, it is a challenge. But, you know, we are at our most transformative when we go through these challenging times, when we go through these darker times. And it's a... Everything is given for us, so this is an opportunity for you to stand back and observe what is happening and why it's happening for you and to learn and grow from it. And so whenever I see the five of wands, you know, the traditional tarot, I always see the person holding that fifth wand slightly stepping back. So it's about standing back and observing and speaking when you're passionate to do so and you want to do so from a place of truth and higher and higher truth, higher love, but otherwise keeping quiet and observing because the more you get involved in negative energies, the more you're attracting that to you. Um, and um, thank you, Spirit. The leopard as well is, he's, he's a problem solver. So you're very capable, you know, everything that, there's nothing that we are given that we can't handle. And uh, it's about, this is an opportunity for you about shifting into your own power and pursuing your goals with passion, okay? And not getting involved, as I said, with negative energies around you. You know, you may be having to fight for what you believe in at the moment and then trust, you know, what you're trusting in, what you're knowing in. Um, and it's also about, um, just like Spirit asking you to speak from your space of truth and peace and love when those do when there are those that do that around you do listen because god sends the universe sends messages to us in many different forms and there will be people around you that have been sent to you to help you during this time so be open to views from others but if it's from the right space it's not from a negative space uh, and ask the right question thank you spirit ask the right question as well um because you see here, he's he's not really, this leopard, he's not really listening. So it's about asking the right questions, listening to the right answers, but knowing your, you'll know when it resonates. When somebody speaks, when you have a soul-to-soul -soul conversation with somebody, your soul listens and it resonates with you. Um, so let's see what's in your heart space at the moment for Taurus. Thank you. That wanted to come out. So you've got the king of acorns, who is the king of wands. So there's somebody you're very passionate about in your heart space. Um, the King of Wands here is represented by the horse, so there's a, he or she is a very free-spirited individual, very energetic, very charismatic. Um, there's no sort of holding back with them as well, they, and they like to kind of go with the flow. Um, and it says here with the King of Acorns, you know, optimism and innovation. So they are maybe in a, a very creative person as well um, and they have a half cup full um, attitude to life which is fantastic not a half empty because when you have a half half your cup is full then you see things from that positive space and that means you attract more of the same so there is somebody in your heart space who you very much um, 
see as somebody, you're very passionate about them and you see them as a very strong, passionate, creative individual. Um, sorry, I just want to try and sort out my light there a bit so it doesn't go off so many times. Um, <clears throat> they can be a little bit at times, a little bit abrupt with you. Um, and uh, they don't mean to be like that, that way. Um, it's just their delivery at times. Thank you, Spirit. So let's see what's in your soulmate's headspace. Thank you. So you've got this Knight of Crystal, which is uh, this Knight of Swords. Um, and this is just clarifying almost just what I said about, um, they want, there are things they want to say to you, um, but it's done with a certain sense of nervous energy. Um, and the Knight of Swords has a tendency to rush in and rush out. Sometimes, you know, it's about speaking from the right space, but it's about having that fear factor attached to it. So they're, they're putting sort of fear over faith at the moment. Um, they are very determined. Um, and they, I feel they've gone through something because the camel here uh, is all about endurance as well. And so, you know, they are that sort of master being this camel spirit animal, the master of endurance, the master of determination. And camels travel through very difficult terrain. So I feel like they've, they've been on a journey in the past that's been a very difficult journey, but they've learned with that um, about self-reliance, like the hump of the camel. And they've, they've learned about, you know, knowing that the horizon may bring more of the same, but it may bring that oasis. And um, so, I'm sorry, this is not the Knight of Swords, it's the Knight of Pentacles, but it's the same message as coming through on the cards. So forgive me for that. I'm just getting to learn to learn this deck. So um, they do still want to, it's not about rushing in. Like, well, I, I think, I feel they do because this King of Acorns is free spirited horse, but they want to rush in, however, with this Knight of Pentacles, they, whatever they want to um, give you is from a place of uh, um, groundings, uh, experience, it's solid, it's slow, you know, they've, as I said, they've travelled over terrain, so they do, but they're very nervous about doing it, and that was what the energy that I was picking up, rather than seeing what the card was saying, um, but they're very determined, and it means a great deal to them as well. Okay, so let's have a look in their heart space towards you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Heart space for Taurus's soulmate. Thank you. You've got the Five of Swords, Strategy and Resilience, which is here. It's, um, uh, I think he's an armadillo. He's an armadillo. Um, so there we are. So this is in the heart space. Um, the five of swords, and it's interesting that you've got the five of acorns as well. So I, I feel <clears throat> there has definitely been some conflict between you. And there's definitely been a feeling of uh, arguments and about who's won the battle and who's lost the battle, because this is what this five of swords also represents. Um, and nobody really wins with the Five of Swords because in that Five of Swords space, like the Five of Wands space, when you're dealing with things from that um, fear space and anxiety, nobody's really listening to the other. They just want to get their point across. I, I feel in their heart space at the moment with the armadillo, there's a very protectiveness in their heart at the moment. Um, and I feel that you're... You're, you're a bit cross at the moment. But in your heart space, you've got this King of Wands. You know, it's like you've got this, there is a, okay, thank you, Spirit. There is a huge passion between you two. And I think you have kind of huge fiery arguments and then you make up. And I think that's what um, this is representing. But I also feel with this Knight of Pentacles that this, for, for them, it's, it's, it's been a journey as well and it's been quite a hard journey and I think they want there to be, they want to come in with something that's going to make this different because they, I think they, you know, they've been very protective and very resilient and they've, they've got boundaries up 
um, to sort of shield them against sort of emotion. And these energies may be reversed, so I may be talking about you here as opposed to them, but shielding themselves with this armadillo against emotional harm. Um, and, you know, the armadillo also is talking about wearing spiritual armour. So whatever this journey is for both of you, it's in order for your souls, like all relationships are, to evolve, to shift and grow. And the armadillo is about choosing battles and having that inner strength to move forward and standing firmly in one's beliefs, which is the same as the five of acorns. So I really feel that both of you have very strong feelings about things and... Um, But then spirit is asking there for maybe to be more listening at the moment from both of you and um, understanding that people, when they do things that we find hurtful uh, or we have expectations and we're disappointed, it's because the only person we can control in our feelings, the only person that gives us happiness is ourselves. And when people do things that uh, we consider hurtful, it may be because they're triggering in us a childlike wound that needs to be released. Um, so it's about looking at those feelings behind the feelings behind the feelings and also understanding that somebody else has been triggered by unhealed trauma, unhealed wounds, so they don't necessarily mean to hurt us. But you're both very strong characters and that's what I'm, I'm getting. Um, thank you. And I've got at the bottom of the deck the Two of Crystals, which uh, is this Two of Pentacles, um, which is about being overwhelmed, trying to make a, um, a decision, but feeling very overwhelmed by it. It's about balance. So um, the message for both of you, I would say, uh, is for you to listen more to each other and listen to your feelings, listen to your heart space, be um, honest with yourself about understanding that there is, there is always a reason for both sides and that... Um, and it's about forgiving yourself and forgiving them. Let's see their intentions towards you at this time. Thank you, Taurus. Thank you, Taurus's soulmate. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Their intentions towards you at this time. That wanted to come out. So there's a lot of love here. You've got this King of Cups. An awful lot of love here, um, represented here by the seahorse. Again, another free spirit, you know, because it's the horse, the King of Acorns, the King of Wands is also represented by the horse here too. Um, they have a very nurturing instinct towards you with this seahorse here. They have a great vision for both of you. I think you both do. With the, the there's a lot of wands here as well. Um, and whatever messages they are wanting to give you, it is from the heart. Uh, these messages are from the heart. They have a huge amount of integrity. Um, and they want harmony, they want peace, they don't want to fight. Um, and they're trying to talk to you, they're not very good at talking. You know, the, the, the king of, the king of uh, shells, this king of cups, is not very good about emotional, and this is maybe where these issues have come from with you, but they're not very good about speaking about how they feel. And there's an expression that Spirit's giving me that just because somebody doesn't love you the way you want them to love you doesn't mean to say they don't love you with everything that they are. People have different ways of showing it. People have different limitations of showing it as well. Um, and they, they, this sort of um, emotions, you know, they're trying to balance their emotions through sheer will. And, um, and they to be able to speak their messages through this sheer willpower of, 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 of trying not to be too protective of their heart space as well. And they are very focused on you. If you look at these cards, I know you can't see them, but the King of Cups is looking back at this whole reading. Okay, and this card wanted to flip out. It was just sort of there on, on the top of the deck, but at an angle. It's the Three of Crystals, and I'm going to take that as well for their intention. This is about building a new foundation with you. It's about, um, when you build a new foundation, it means that all of the old stuff has to come down, all of those old conditioned behaviours and ways of being. So they want to do, they want to, you're both learning and growing through this, and, and they want this to be different with you. And um, it's a collaboration, productivity with the bee. You, you've got a very good life with them. You have a community around you. There's a lot of moral support. 
Uh, bees are very hard workers and they don't ask for a lot of reward or recognition or any for what they do. So um, there's a lot of amazing intent here. And as now at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Cups. This is about a brand new cycle. And I really feel with this Knight, <clears throat> this Knight of, of, of Pentacles, this is what they want to offer you. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. A, a new start, a new beginning, divinely guided, divinely protected. Aces always are. This one represents happiness and abundance, but it also talks about trust. So let's see advice from spirit. Thank you. There we go. Well, <laughs> you've got, it's come out again, so I'm going to take that. Um, <laughs> you've got the Ace of Cups. Uh, and in fact, you've got, oh my goodness, right, you've got uh, three major arconas here, which is just lovely. Um, okay, so Ace of Cups, I've already talked about it. This is what Spirit's saying coming to you, brand new cycle, all right? There is choices here. This is the Lover's card. There is choices with love and trust. Again, you can choose to live in that fear space or put faith over fear. And and you these represent these two wolves inside us, the fear wolf or the soul wolf, the love wolf. And so um, the wolf that leaves the pack is the wolf you feed, so don't feed your fears. Um, I, I'm not feeling that there's somebody else in this relationship with the lovers, but I think it's this thing about you loving yourselves learning to love yourselves through this, but you're very much being guided. There is um, the moon card here represents, again, that fear side, but it represents secrets still haven't come to light, but you'll know when you're meant to know. But these wolves are being guided towards the sun, this new happiness. Um, you've got here as well uh, uh, Shaman, which is the Hierophant card. So this is a really committed relationship you both have. Um, and, you know, the Hierophant card is about a marriage alliance, a sort of, you know, a, a, a partnership as well. It's about um, kind of spirituality as well. And it's, it's about commitment and it's about listening as well. It's about listening to spirit, listening to your soul, listening to your intuition, look, divine wisdom and spiritual power. And this is represented here by the eagle. OK, now the eagle flies the highest and this is why. Uh, the eagle flies closest to, to heaven, as above, down below. So it's, it's really representing those messages that spirit, your soul, are trying to tell you, your intuition is trying to tell you. And it's about you. The eagle's very sharp-sighted uh, and also is incredibly grounded too. So it's, it's about you listening to advice, listening to people around you. God always sends those that you need at exactly the right time you need to hear them. And if somebody talks to you from that soul space, from that place of peace and love, do listen because they, they may be coming to teach you, to, to help you learn something and, to, and, and um, to teach you something. And you're also, you've got the transformation card here, which is the death card. So this is about, uh, nothing stops the death card. It is an old way, conditioned way as behaviors and uh, leading to new ways of, uh, new ways of behaviours. And, and the death card happens when you start to release, release things that no longer serve you, release patterns of behaviour, conditioned behaviours. I really feel <clears throat> that this soulmate has, has, you know, gone through whatever they've gone through and they really want to make this change with you. You're, you're, you're in this space at the moment where, you know, it is a growth period for you, it is a challenge, but you are... You know what you want with this King of Wands, and I and I do, you know, I know it's them. I can see this is them, um, but it's about you stepping away from perhaps I'm getting the words being right all the time, and allowing yourself to listen to what they need to say to you, and vice versa. You know, the Death card, as I said, it's a renewal, it's a rebirth, it's a clearing of obstacles. Nothing stops this Death card, and with that. It allows that sort of energetic movement forward. It's about letting go, letting go of things that no longer serve you anymore, letting go of that need to to be um, to be to be right. Um, because actually you're just hurting yourself with that. Uh, so I'm now going to clarify the deck uh, with the other tarot cards. Thank you. So um, 
I'm going to just get a little bit more information for you on the five of acorns and that has flown out. So you've got the Queen of Summer, uh, which is the Queen of Cups. So look at the difference with these two cards. This is a little bit more depth here for you, okay? So the Queen of Cups for me is very much about um, <clears throat> coming into your place of self-love, doing things from a peaceful place because that's what brings you joy and happiness. Um, and the swan here, and the swan's mate for life as well. So this really is with the Hierophant, a very deeply committed um, relationship. This is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful you don't ignore your own needs whilst caring for others. All right, so this is about your self-love, my darling, and it's about you maybe flipping that switch and standing back and observing why this is happening for you and to trust the fact that you are amazing and wonderful. You are this piece of the universe. We're all connected. Your soul is the piece of this universe and you can always trust your soul. You can always trust your best friend and whatever's happening is happening for you to come to a place of having so much love for yourself that you have so much to give. Um, and I know that's difficult to understand, but the daisies here represent that um, <clears throat> spiritual enlightenment and the water here obviously represents emotions and the river it's like going letting go and letting god just letting it happen the way it's meant to happen okay so let's have a look at um the king of acorns this is in your heart space and that wanted to come out straight away ten of cups you have an extraordinary amount of love for them and they for you um and it's something you're very passionate about. I, I really feel you have this extraordinarily passionate relationship where there's quite a lot of fighting, but you're also incredibly in love with each other. Um, this Ten of Cups with this prairie dog, I was just reading it. It said, it's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family or close friends. Um, congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. So this is in your heart. You know, this is what you also know you have and you also want when you're going through these bad times. But these darker times, our soulmates are given to us many times because we have such deep feelings to trigger in us the need to release old conditioning behaviours, old wor words, old maybe old wounds and hurts that we've been carrying around with us for a while and you are both doing this for each other so see it as a gift of learning that you're giving each other very beautiful let's look at the knight of crystals this is in their headspace for you so this is the knight of pentacles ace of swords they this is in their headspace they have clarity if you have a a question the answer is yes right now this is my yes card from the universe uh, the ace of swords they have clarity they have truth, they know, they know what they want. They want this, they, 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 they've gone through this journey and it's been hard for them as well and they want to offer you something that's, that's new and different and grounded. Um, and this is the panda and we all love pandas and they're very playful as well. I, I'm, I'm getting the feeling your soulmate has, you know, underneath all of that, armadillo thing there's there's and with the ten of cups there as well um and the love card and the swan you know there's a lot of useful energy with 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 both of you um and it's saying here with the panda this is about the knight of pentacles implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start but keep going the challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better so yes, this just, just talks to me about this is why the Knight of Pentacles is the slower knight because they want to do this right this time and they, they have this, you know, this idea um, of how they want it to be. Um, okay, so now let's look at the Five of Feathers. Uh, this is in their heart space. This is the Armadillo, the Five of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at you both mirroring each other. You've got the King of Summer, the King of Cups. 
and you have got the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> there are children involved, I'm feeling, with this reading. Um, quite a lot of baby animals around here as well. The King of Summer, warm-hearted, devoted, loving and faithful. There's definitely been some, some with the, the mountains behind, um, you know, some symbolic things that have happened and endings and restarts and things that have happened here. The water here is not completely calm, so it is a little bit emotionally unstable. Um, the King of Cups has so much love to give, but he's not brilliant about expressing it. Um, and that's why that's clarifying this armadillo. He's very sort of protective of his or her heart. Um, and apologies if I say he, I mean he or she, it's just sort of soulmate. Um, um, the penguin, a trustworthy person or relationship, enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. So um, they, th with, this, with this Knight of Pentacles, there is, and this King of Cups, there is definitely, definitely something they want to shift and change with you and they have a, so much love and where it comes back to me talking about um you may receive wives and compassionate advice that goes back to that five of acorns that we talked about um and you know about you listening when i said about listening to people that are coming in to help you with this uh so how well, there's so much love here and so many cups and wands and transformations so look here we go we've got two by the way sorry king of cups king of summer king of shells in the head and heart space they have the same thing in the king of cups for you okay um because that's what so now this is a so i apologize in their heart space and their intentions towards you they have the king of cups uh, i just need to show you so this was their heart space this is their heart space and this is their intentions towards you, the same King of Cups. And in their heart space, their intentions towards you, we've also got the Three of Pentacles here. So we're going to look at this now. Intentions towards you, King of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. And they're looking with this King of Cups in their heart space at their intentions. So everything they're doing towards you is from a love space, my darling. And they have clarity in their thoughts. This is with the Ace of One, Ace of uh, Swords. Thank you, Spirit, that wanted to come out. Yeah, this has been, uh, this is their intentions towards you. This is 15, okay? So this is ego. This is the devil card. They have, um, they're releasing their ego. Um, and I really feel this now. Uh, they, they have, um, the devil card is about being trapped uh, in a situation. It can be being trapped within yourself, being codependent on something. But I feel here that they it's this is about their ego more than anything. Uh, and I think they've realized as well that the, the materialistic stuff is not so important to them. Um, Siamese cats are incredible. <laughs> um, they're very beautiful. And I'm sure your soulmate is very beautiful. Um, uh, they're also quite um, talkative as well. Um, I used to have an incredible Siamese cat called Timmy. Uh, so Siamese cat, you may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overlay, overlay, overlay focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. So yes, so they, they have done, they're doing a lot of work um, on, because they're already on the space of wanting to lay a foundation with you in their king of cups and uh, in the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I, this is about them breaking free. This is them putting faith over fear with you. And knowing that the most important thing for both of you is love. It's not about, it's this Ten of Cups. It's not about anything materialistic. Um, there was something else I was just drawn to. I think, yes, that was right. I think they've worked very hard. There's this um, the B here as well and I think uh, and I think they work very hard as well without um, asking for a lot of accolades um, but I think they've tied themselves to their work quite a great deal and I think that's probably what may have caused um, some arguments between you um, because they've always been working but they've realized you know just how important you are to them 
And as I was saying that, I've got the Prince of Autumn has come out again, which is the Prince of Pentacles. Another that you see here, this is offering this foundation, this Three of Pentacles. This is what they want to offer, this Three of Pentacles. Three of Crystals, Three of Pentacles. This is the Prince of Pentacles in their headspace as well. There are these Three of Pentacles again. You've got two seahorses again in terms of their intentions towards you, both the King of Cups and the Prince of Pentacles. They are very determined and very focused on making this work, this right with you. This is very lovely. And, oh my goodness, three of pentacles again. Wow, so you have got, um, this is balance, three and three is six. It's balance coming in with something amazing and balanced. You are mirroring each other, just wonderful. Okay, so, let me just see, this is now uh, advice from spirit and you've you had the Ace of Cups, New Beginnings, um, Love, the Lovers, Choice and Trust. You had uh, Divine Wisdom and Spiritual Power with the Shaman, which was about um, seeing things from, you know, a different, um, a different perspective. Uh, it's about the Hierophant, it's about commitment. It's, it's, it, 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 uh, and then you've got the Death card, the Transformation card as well. Okay, so let's have a look, advice from Spirit for you. Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do you have for these cards for Taurus? Thank you, thank you. Prince of Cups, Knight of Cups coming forward for you, okay? This is, this has been this time for you, a very transformative time, all right? You, there's, as I said, there is choices with love, but they're, they're being made. And this, 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 this Knight of Cups, your Knight of Cups, your Knight of Pentacles as well, is coming forward to you. Um, <laughs> they've got the frog in this one, and it always sort of reminds me about, you know, you have to kiss a few frogs to meet your prince, but actually the prince is the frog. It goes back to this King of, King of Cups as well. The frog can only croak, he can't speak, so I feel there's so much love in there. <laughs> but he can't speak it, he can only croak it out. Um, but look at his little smiley face there. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm seeing here the butterfly and also the ladybird, ladybug, ladybird, which is all about magic as well and luck. Uh, this is all, let go, let God, forgive them if there are things, understand their perspective, understand you, forgive your, forgive yourself as well. There is a lot of love here um, and this new start with them is going to be very deeply emotional and satisfying for you. Um, it, it'll kind of um, almost, yeah, sweep you off your feet. I think it's, it's very lovely, um, but it's about remember staying balanced um, and, you know, moving forward both from a grounded space, but also um emotional space where you are open to interpretation i'm getting about how they're feeling as well so you're you're listening to them as well as listening to yourself you're understanding why they're behaving the way they are and you're listening to yourself too you know relationships are about that evolution of our soul but at the same time um all relationships um a healthy relationship is you want for them what they want for them and they want for you what you want for you so, uh, and I'm feeling this with your soulmate, there has been a lot of learning and growing and, and you too, my darling, you too. Um, let go of any anger you've still got because they, they are, they have, um, thank you. Yeah, Kingfisher, peace. Okay. This is all, this is about dealing this from the, from the love space, forgiveness space. Let go of the anger. If you only just, if you let go of that and you forgive, it brings you peace as well. Um, and there's a lot of blue and red here, which is your throat chakra. Um, brings peace to that. And red is that sort of, that sort of orangey red, isn't it? So it's, uh, it's both grounding and uh, what your soul's intent is. Um, and 
buffalo. It's about being grateful for everything. I am, you know, I am the two most powerful words you can use. And, you know, I am grateful. We have so much in our lives to be grateful for. And it's about being grateful in the moment, living life in the moment, not having that lack of feeling that you haven't got this and you haven't got that. Because the more you're grateful, the more the things uh, come in, which is just uh, beautiful. Um, thought that wanted to stay out. Spirit's got a sense of humour. Go with the flow. Go with the flow of like the jellyfish. Um, let go, let God. Go with this universal flow. This Queen of Summer, this Queen of Cups. That's what she does. She is full of loving energy and love for herself and love for another. And, and it's about going with the flow. Let go, let God. Trust that you're. That this is a divinely guided journey for you, and it'll all. Um, jellyfish have that sort of spark, don't they, of electricity as well. You know, those receiving thoughts you'll get at exactly the right time for you. Um, okay, my darling, I hope that helped uh, Taurus with whoever is meant to listen to this reading. Um, I hope you have a very lovely rest of a lovely bank holiday weekend. It's certainly bank holiday weekend here in England. Um, and I'll be doing your weekly readings for you starting again from next weekend. Take care, my darlings. Bye-bye.